so hello everyone welcome to the new video in this video we will know about linux file permissions so for example if you are using windows machine you might have seen some files for example you have downloaded a chrome file and you want to install a chrome so you would uh, go to the website and type www uh, download chrome we go to google and type download chrome so it would lead you to download a dot exe file which is an executable file which supports windows so similarly there are some file permissions available to different users who have different powers for example if uh, for example if you take case of a company there are different files uh, which are available to different management if you belong to a higher management you know that uh, they have got higher powers and similarly in case of linux or in case of ubuntu i'm using in my case so the root user has the maximum powers similarly the power goes on decreasing so uh, now let's start the video uh, so here you can see there is nothing available on the desktop let me type ls so it isn't showing us any result so what that means is there is nothing available on the desktop if you don't believe me you can see that nothing is available on the desktop so if uh, for example i want to make a new file by the name of new.txt i want i want to make a text file by the name of new so i would type touch new.txt if you don't know about this touch command you can go to the previous video that's basic linux commands and you can watch it the link would be somewhere in the video so uh, now here you can see a new file has been created by the name of new.txt and now i want to see what permission does this file have i would type ls minus l so here you can see first it is showing minus five minus sign what that means is it is a file it isn't any folder it isn't any shortcut so here you can see there are nine places available these three these three and these three that depends on the user the first one is for the root user and the last one is for if you want to make it public that depends and uh, yeah so for example uh, you see this file new.txt i want to change its permission and i want to make it an executable file so what i would type is chmod plus x new you can always type uh, click on tab button and it will automatically complete the sentence so it isn't showing us any error or any result so we can think that the work has been done if i type ls and l so here you can see x has been added so what it does is it gives executable permissions to each user so here in my case it is ash and you must be wondering what is this zero what is this number zero i will tell you so this is the size name this is the creation date and you might see this color has been changed to green so what this green color signifies is it has been made an executable file so now it's an executable file you can use it you can execute the file so in if i want to remove the permissions so i don't want to make it an executable file i would type chmod minus x again pressing the tab button it isn't again showing us any error so i could type listen and here you can see it has removed 
executable permissions from this file and it is byte again so now there are certain set of numbers which have been given to this file for example 4 has been assigned for read 2 has been assigned for write and 1 has been assigned for execute so uh, you uh, I have I just typed it it is not any command so if for, for example here you can see read r4 stands for read 2 stands for write and 1 stands for execute if uh, for example I want to change permissions for this new.txt file I would type chmod1 I hit enter here you can see I have typed 111 so what it has done is it has changed all the permissions and it has made it only an executable file and wait for a second I will come. so yeah so what you have to do is you have to sum them for example I want to make a file for example I have to make this file new.txt only readable and writable I don't want it to be executable so I would type uh, chmod6 uh, 6 6 and uh, 4 new.txt again person so what it has done is it has made to its original configuration so here you can see it is now only readable writable readable writable and only readable so this is what chmod command does if i type uh, if uh, for example i want to make another folder by the name of new i would type mkdir new so here you can see a new folder has been created by the name of new so if i again type lsl so what it does is now here you can see here you can see these type instead of this dash or minus icon this is because this is a directory and uh, you can see the color is also different it is readable writable executable readable writable executable and only readable not writable and executable and it sizes 4096 it has been created on november 20th and this is the time so that's what if uh, that's what all it is so you might have uh, a question in your mind for example i want to make a file itself but which has all these permissions available so you could also use a command called umask if you type umask h here you can see it is an invalid command you have to use it. so what uh, that means is if uh, i type umask uh, sorry my bad luck umask 777 so what it will do is whatever file you will make after this command so if uh, for example i hit enter and uh, i want to make a command by the name of touch hello and type ls and l see it has messed with all this file system so I would recommend you you are a newbie you shouldn't use this command now you should not use this command currently we would uh, talk about this command later in this series till then keep watching keep supporting peace out